Hello anyone and everyone who loves the Bugatti Veyron and likes to see this car in action. We are here at the Philadelphia building, one of the many buildings here at BB Centrum in Prague. This is one of the largest office parks in Central Europe and was built by Passer Invest Group, one of the most successful developers in the Czech Republic. Radim is the founder of this greatly admired company and he is also an owner of the legendary Bugatti Veyron. I had the great privilege to be part of the team of people that went out on the Autobahn in Germany where there is no speed restrictions to test the top speed of the supercar. We wanted to make this video so people who have a passion for the Veyron can get a closer look at the car and see the experiences we had during this top speed test drive. Radim is a Seventh-day Adventist Christian and always emphasizes that life is not only about the material things, but about having a good relationship with Jesus Christ. All three speed tests were conducted with a team of professionals where safety was a priority. So let's go talk to Radim and see what it's like driving 250 miles an hour. I'd like to tell you about my dream car, the Bugatti Veyron. In 2007, after a long wait, we finally brought our beautiful car home. My first experience driving over 400 kilometers per hour was in the factory car at the Volkswagen test track in Germany. It was an amazing ride and I wanted to experience it again, only this time in my own Veyron. That's why we put together a team of people and prepared to attempt to go over 400 kilometers on a public highway, something no one had done before. In Europe, there is the only one place you can do this, the Autobahn in Germany. The day was set, Sunday the 1st of May 2011. However, it wasn't a simple case of turning up, getting in the car and hitting the accelerator. We had to choose the right stretch of highway, the right place and the right time. When the day finally arrived, we were brimming with anticipation. Little did we know it wasn't to be. We did a few rides but couldn't activate the top speed mode and weren't able to go any faster than 375 km per hour. After a follow-up consultation with the people at Bugatti, we learned the outside temperature had been too low. We had to choose a warmer day, so we set the next test for the end of May 2012 and, in the meantime, found an even better section of highway the A2 from Berlin to Hanover. The roads were clear and the conditions were perfect. This time we were ready to be the first people to take a car over 400 km per hour on a public highway. At least that's what we had hoped. But once again the top speed mode failed to activate. We were all disappointed, but we weren't going to be stopped that easily. The problem had to be resolved. After a second consultation, the Bugatti team discovered the cause of the problem. The gearbox needed to be replaced. We arranged for the third attempt for 2015. The same stretch of highway, the end of May, and once again on the state holiday. No sooner had our car been inspected and put through maintenance procedures, we picked it up from the expert at Bugatti. The gearbox had been replaced, the tires were new and our technicians had put the cameras in their places. We were ready to finally break the 400 km per hour mark. We woke up at 3.30 am and started our day with prayer to our Heavenly Father as always. Then, full of anticipation, again we made our way to the starting point.
top speed mode was activated from the very first ride. Our anticipation turned into excitement. As we reached top speed, our speedometer was reading 394 km per hour. It wasn't 400, but it was great. As we slowed back down, I remembered that the speedometer always shows a lower speed than the GPS, which is always completely accurate. I needed to see the real reading. The GPS showed that in all but one of our rides, we had been traveling over 400 km per hour. It was a fantastic moment and within minutes, we received a message of congratulations from Bugatti. We reached our highest speed, 402.5 km per hour in the final ride, when my eldest son, Radim Jr., joined me in the car. We were the first people to drive over 400 km per hour on a public highway. I am grateful to God for the fantastic experience our whole team had. We never found ourselves in any danger, for which uh, I thank my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I'd also like to thank all the people in our team and the people at Bugatti, without whom we couldn't have set this record. <laughs> <laughs>